Peggy 16. We knew we had something special. A medley of iconic themes. It's going right through your body. I'm sure this game is going to turn out pretty good. Might Magic existed before Ubisoft. And since the very first Might Magic game, music has been an essential part of the player experience. And when you put those words together, music, might magic, there's a name that immediately pops up in your mind, and it's Rob King. I remember clearly working on Heroes 1. We knew we had something special when we finished that first game. It just, it was so much fun to work on and um, we had such a really great vibe in the office. And uh, it was just a really good time. And I've always, I've always enjoyed working on the series. And uh, you know, I'm fortunate that I, I get to come back and, and work with Ubisoft. But Rob King is not working solo. The Might and Magic themes are composed by four hands. And I will let Rob explain himself, how he's been working with his longtime partner, Paul Anthony Romero. I brought Paul in on the first game because I, I met him at a party through a friend. He's been a classical pianist that's, that he goes and does concerts. start with a melody. Where Paul brings a melody to the table and then we work chord, we work the arrangement around the chords and then um, then he comes in and lays a bunch of stuff down, then he leaves, then I'll go at it and I'll build the chords in the, in the percussion track and the, the arrangement and, and do a lot of the programming and he'll come back and layer more melodic, maybe the string parts and we just kind of, we've just been doing it for so long and that's, that's how we do it, you know. Might and Magic Hero 6 is not just another episode in the series. It's a celebration of the 25th birthday of Might and Magic. And as an homage, we wanted to include in the game's soundtrack a medley of iconic themes from the former Might and Magic games, all remixed to be unified as a whole. And for each faction that is in the game, we wanted to create a specific theme that would become iconic and uh, would be a good illustration of the faction's specific mood and color. The audio dimension is obviously not limited to music in Hero 6. Another important component is voice acting, especially for a game that is story-driven, character-centric, uh, telling the story of a dynasty of heroes, a family tragedy. So we paid a lot of attention to the cast of actors that would embody our main characters. Yeah, a couple more of those little ones. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> kind of 
of sounds like that. Uh, my name is Ben Diskin, and I'm the voice actor for Anton. Father's death was not an accident. Anastasia, our beloved sister, stabbed him in the heart. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so Anton is basically, um, he's just inherited this huge duchy, he doesn't really know what he's doing, nobody has any real faith in him, and he doesn't have any faith in himself, and so he sort of, his whole quest is, is basically, it's all about self-discovery, really, um, and, um, and also finding out what the heck went wrong, why did his little, you know, demure sister go crazy and kill their dad. My name is Tatiana Yesukovic and I am playing Sveltana and I think my voice accent, people can associate that more because people in America associate British with being sort of a sovereignty, some sort of powerful. I follow my heart and if it tells me that you are my duke as it does now, then my loyalty is unquestioned. In fantasy world, you also have to deal with uh, special creatures, and uh, actors who can embody them have to have a peculiar talent. Yeah! Go to islands, Gunyati! Coconuts, fish, goblin girls! Yeah! Great place! Careful, Gunyati! Careful, Gunyati! Happy birds and centaur horses poop all over the place! Our objective when we created the characters for Hero 6 was to avoid the stereotypical black and white flat characters all too common in fantasy stories. Instead, we reached for uh, shades of grey, emotional depth, uh, multi-dimensional characters confronted to life and death choices. I've worked on a lot of games, like 130 games, I think, in the last 17 years. And, to, I mean, I've never met a fan better than a Heroes fan. You know, really. I mean, every email we get is from always related to Heroes, or, you know, someone that's interested in the music or, you know, wanting the sheet music to play it. <laughs> we know that sound, voice acting, and music are very important to our fan community and we really consider Hero 6 to be a tribute to them and to the Mad Magic series. Yeah.